This episode of Safe Moon Night will cover Safe Moon Price and Daily Volume, Swift Justice, Safe Moon Latest Updates, Fight the FUD. If you've been able to hack into my night computer and survey my feed, congratulations. You deserve to be subscribed, able to like, and able to comment on this data source. Please share this video to boost the server algorithm to get this information on SafeMoon to others. For more night content, make sure to access and follow my Twitter feed. I am SafeMoon Night. Alfred, provide a live feed to SafeMoon's current price and daily volume. Yes, sir. Seems as though SafeMoon's current price is 0 0.0004872, with a daily volume of 958,904. Looks like the price is taking a little dip. That's no surprise, especially because Bitcoin isn't doing too well, and the rest of the crypto market is following suit. But I'm not worried. Imagine. SafeMoon products being launched in this bear market with low SafeMoon prices. Products may drive volume high, and the burn and reflection rate will be more majestic than Diana's invisible jet. Now, moving on. Caroni is serving swift justice to those on Twitter who said some disgusting things about Kate Porter, the director of human resources for SafeMoon. He stated recently, Within the last 48 hours, a series of tweets personally attacked and insulted a member of the SafeMoon team. I recognize that Twitter is an imperfect means of communication and that my company and I are subject to criticism in the course of public discourse. I will not, however, tolerate statements that personally attack, seek to tarnish the reputation of or threaten the safety of my team. We will report all statements of this nature to Twitter and will block whoever makes or retweets a statement from participating in any SafeMoon moderated avenues of discourse. Course. Next, BSC Daily had a graphic come out recently, and look who made the cut. SafeMoon was placed as an outstanding market cap leader on the BNB chain. More importantly, look at the category SafeMoon was placed in. Nah, not the meme or DeFi category, but the infrastructure category. Does this mean that SafeMoon is no longer recognized as a meme coin or a DeFi coin, but more prominently known as an infrastructure coin? I know my perspective. Absolutely yes, SafeMoon is the evolution. Now, let's talk about my last video. That data set was released and addressed the Gabe wallet and the transaction from BitMart to the Gabe wallet. I want to be clear here. The point is not to be right about everything. Absolutely not, but instead to find the truth and give facts. When I originally looked at the BSC scan and Ether scan, these transactions from BitMart to the Gabe wallet did not show up. I thought this unusual, so I cross-referenced my findings with several others and they corroborated with the transactions that did not exist. Well, it wasn't until after Crypto Control addressed my video that I found the transactions myself. They were placed in a different tab on the websites and therefore, I was wrong in my last dataset video and Crypto Control was telling the truth regarding the transactions between BitMart and the Gabe wallet. Nothing ruffles my cape more than wrong information, and I'll be the first to admit when I release wrong data. No one is more bothered by this than me. You don't fail if you get knocked down. You only fail when you give in and stop getting back up, and you can take that to the bank. So, let's discuss this mishap. Fight the FUD. So it's true then. BitMart did send millions and millions of dollars to the Gabe wallet. It's clearly seen here on the highlighted transactions. Does this mean foul play? In my opinion, absolutely not. In fact, quite the opposite. Let's take a look here. It's clear that BitMart made 19 transactions to the Gabe wallet. These transactions totaled a whopping $15,285,686 in Tether going into the Gabe wallet. This is not including BSC scan, only Ether scan. But let's focus on something important here and let's ask the question, so what? So what could it mean if BitMart sent 19 transactions for millions of dollars to the Gabe wallet? Well, I'll tell you. This was 19 times that BitMart sent money to the Gabe wallet. BitMart made the conscious decision to send this money to the Gabe wallet 19 times. Do you futters really think that BitMart would send this much money blindly to an unverified wallet? 
a well-known centralized exchange that has been around for years, sending millions of dollars to an unrecognized wallet? I don't think so. To say that Bitmart sent this money to the Gabe wallet blindly suggests that Bitmart is either incompetent or they are in on it. Or, the more realistic explanation is that there is no wrongdoing at all, and the Gabe wallet was in fact verified and trusted by the Bitmart exchange. Surely, you're not accusing of Bitmart being in on it, or calling Bitmart incompetent, right? But sir, what if the Seafood Dev team told Bitmart to send the funds to the Gabe wallet? Good question. I've already thought of this scenario. If this is true, if the SafeMoon dev team asked Bitmart to send the funds to the Gabe wallet, then don't you think Bitmart would have asked questions about this new wallet? There would have been some sort of dialogue, some sort of verification that the Gabe wallet is a legitimate wallet. True, and the fact that Bitmart sent 19 transactions show the confidence in the decision making that this is a legitimate wallet. And not to mention that the Gabe wallet is continuously used with other exchanges, swaps, contracts, and other wallets. One would think that if this Gabe wallet was involved in wrongdoing, that Coroni would want to discard this wallet and get another wallet that has zero attention. Yes, but he doesn't do that. The Gabe wallet is continuously being used, even to this day. Exactly. If he's committing a crime with the Gabe wallet, he is the worst criminal in history, because first of all, he's doing it on a blockchain, which never lies, can't be altered nor hidden. And secondly, he's staying at the scene of the crime and continuously using this wallet. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. Seems too circumstantial to come to a conclusion. That's what I was thinking as well. Thanks, Alfred. Did you inform Lucius of the Safe Moon Army's pick on the new Safe Moon Knight chest emblem? Oh yes, he is most delighted. Good. Continuing on. Chris Harris, host of the podcast titled Safe Moon After Dark, has shared some intel that helps us get closer to the truth. He put out several tweets recently, some pertaining to the Gabe wallet, and some related to the alleged FBI investigation. Here, the first tweet reads, The link is circumstantial evidence based on a Moondog NFT and a link to another investment recommended by Ben Phillips. There are two other parties with access to the Tano wallet. Provide the whole story. Two other parties. Ah, wonder who he's speaking about here. The next tweet reads, the only way that I will conclude this is John Caroni using funds for personal use is if I see matching transactions and back statements under the sole custody and control of John Caroni and proof of items he purchased with these transactions with actual bank statements. Ah, he's looking for hard evidence. Well done. The next tweet reads, they think it's a smoking gun. That's why they continue to repeat it. I am convinced Thomas and Kyle are involved here. That's only my opinion. Ah, perhaps on that previous tweet where he says there are two other parties with access to the Thanos wallet. Perhaps he was talking about Thomas and Kyle. Hmm. On to the next tweet. I agree that SafeMoon needs to release products in 2022. I believe they will. I find it unethical to put out videos where the standard is circumstantial evidence and then say have the team address this or release products and drastically increase the price. Uh. The last tweet here says, For all those who claim there was an FBI investigation of SafeMoon LLC, Freedom of Information Act or FOIA, request says there was not. Evidence, not accusations. That's the proper standard. Ah, and I agree. Here, you can see a document provided by the FBI with a subject of SafeMoon LLC. And let me read the highlighted box as the image is blurry. We conducted a main entity record search of the central record system per our standard search policy. However, we are unable to identify records subject to the FOIPA that are responsive to your request. Therefore, your request is being closed. Clearly, the FBI investigation onto SafeMoon LLC never happened, as there are no records of it. If there was FBI involvement, it had nothing to do with SafeMoon LLC. Perhaps there was an investigation on other actors like Kyle or Thomas, uh, but I'm not sure. Time will tell. And now, not to reopen an old rotten can of worms, but it was brought to my attention that the Moondog NFT is another piece to the puzzle. Here, you can see an image of a reply that Caroni made to Ben Phillips and Moondog's NFT. Ben Phillips is a social media content creator and was one of the first on the Safe Moon dev team. You can look at the date here, is August 14th, and you can also see that this was a reply to Ben Phillips and Moondogs. I did some investigative work to see what exactly Caroni was replying to, which is clearly a direct reply to Ben or moon dogs. Well, when looking back at Ben's account, all of the tweets around this date was deleted. You can see a gap in dates between August 26th and July 21st. 
interesting. And as a matter of fact, you can see clearly here on the top as it states, this tweet was deleted by the tweet author. Uh, why was this deleted from Ben's Twitter account? Also, when looking at the Moondogs Twitter page, the original tweet is also missing from there. Hmm, seems like things have been strategically deleted. Coincidence? Perhaps. However, notice who didn't delete their tweet. Notice the person who kept their tweet on Twitter. That's right, Captain Hoddle. John Caroni himself. Looks like he was the only one not fleeing the scene. Now, I'm not accusing foul play by either Moondogs nor Ben Phillips. All I'm saying is that evidence was deleted from existence, which is usually a sign of wrongdoing. I wonder what the initial tweet stated, as it could shine some light on the topic. Some say that this Moondog NFT was gifted to Caroni. Some say that it actually belongs to Ben Phillips, who originally posted an image of the NFT on Twitter without the safe moon laser eyes. They say that Caroni took the image and wanted to be funny by editing in the safe moon laser eyes and giving the NFT a name and replying back to Ben's original tweet as a joke. But this is all hearsay and speculation. Patience, and time will reveal the truth. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. We busted through the 1200 subscriber mark. Thank you, Safe Moon Army. If you like viewing this content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware when I release my next video. Please share this video to help get the news on Safe Moon onto others. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest news on Safe Moon as it's happening. We're growing more and more every day and broke through the 1200 follower mark here as well. For all those who follow, retweet, comment, like, and spread the word of Safe Moon and spread the word of my message, I thank you. Luck. I don't care for lackluster data, and will admit when wrong, as that's the only approach suitable for truth and justice. The Safe Moon Army deserves at least that. Did these transactions go from BitMart to the Gabe Wallet? Yes. Does that mean foul play? No. Circumstantial evidence means there are unknowns in the story, and those who are quick to fill in the gaps with their own narrative as truth only hinder their ability to get to absolute certainty. I'm not worried about the continuous FUD that Safe Moon endures, quite the contrary. I learned that FUD brings about balance. And looking back at history, only the greatest of projects get FUD. Actual rug pulls or scams don't receive such FUD because they aren't around long enough to receive the attention. Safe Moon hasn't gone anywhere, and I believe they will be around for decades to come as they are just getting started. Stay vigilant. Stay patient. Stay Safe Moon. And I'll stay. Safe Moon Night.